Hi, my name is Ronnie. I'm going to teach you a little secret. It's not really a secret. But it's something that's kind of interesting and really helpful when you're studying grammar and more importantly speaking English. Um, it's more magic than a secret. It's a crazy little magic that I'd like to teach you. I'm going to do some magic tricks. The magic trick is <clears throat> how to make a noun and or a verb into an adjective. So how we make adjectives or how adjectives are born. Ah, the birth of an adjective. So <clears throat> I'm going to go through some example sentences that have a noun. We're going to change the noun da, 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 and going to use the sentence as a verb. And then magically, we're going to change this into an adjective. Are you ready? Are you excited? Not re not, re not, not really? Come on, it's magic. I'm telling you, it'll be okay. Yeah, let's go. So, if you look at my first sentence, okay, there is a tear in my paper. So, my paper. <laughs> There's a tear in my paper. We're going to know that this word is a noun with some very simple tricks. Because we have the word a as an article. So, there is a tear in my paper. We know that this is a noun. The next one, there is a stain on my pants. <gasps> what were you doing? <laughs> and the, set, uh, the next one, there are holes in my jeans. Now, we have to change this because holes are plural. We have to use are. We can't say there is a holes because a is only for singular. But when we have plural, for example, holes or pieces, we have to use R because R is plural. Let's just write that down here. So there are holes in my jeans and uh oh, there are pieces. Again, this is plural missing from my teeth. True story. I have pieces missing from my teeth. It's a long story. I'm not going to get into it when we're doing the magic. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our sentence. We're going to take our noun do, 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 and we're going to change it into a verb. The way that we do this <clears throat> is we're going to change the noun into actually the past tense of the verb. For example, there is a tear in my paper. The verb is tear or tore. So, I tore my paper. Next one. There is a stain on my pants. What we're going to do is we're going to take the word stain and make it past tense. We're going to say, I stained my pants. Just curious as to how you stained your pants, but that's fine. There are holes in my jeans. Now, we can't say, I hold did my jeans because holes we cannot change into a verb. <gasps> We're going to use the verb ripped. So you can say, I ripped my jeans. Rip. And there are pieces missing from my teeth. We can't say there are pieced, but we can say, I chipped my teeth. So chipped means there's a piece missing. So what we've done very simply is we've taken our noun, and we've used it as a verb. This is where the magic happens. This is where the adjective happens. <clears throat> to make a verb into an adjective, we're going to use what's called the past participle, or as I like to say, the PP of the verb. So we have the infinitive or the base form, we have the past form and the third form or the past parcel, the PP of the verb. So all we're going to do is we're going to change the verb tor to torn. So we're going to say my paper is torn. We know that this is an adjective because we use the verb to be. Next one, I stained my pants. The adjective of stained because it's an ed verb, it's going to say the same. We're going to say, my pants are stained. Next one. Uh oh, I ripped my jeans. 
we're going to say, my jeans are ripped. And last one, uh oh, I chipped my teeth. You're gonna say instead, my teeth are chipped. The magic happens when we take the verb and we change it into the past participle. This is how we make a lot of adjectives in English. You take a verb, you change it to the past participle. It's difficult to remember all of the past participles, but there are ones that we normally use more than others, um, especially when describing things. Another example would be, um, I broke my arm. Oh no. So broke is the past tense of break. I broke my arm. To make it an adjective, do you know the past participle of break? Break, broke, broken, broken. So you're going to say, my arm is broken. And all we've done here is we've changed the verb into dun, 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 an adjective. And that's the end of the magic show. Enjoy your grammar.